This is Lurt Wolf here to bring you another anime review. This time I am doing it. <coughs> excuse me. On High Kenden, uh, Eight Dogs of the East, Episode Seven, Promise. Now, uh, basically, this episode starts immediately where the other episode left off. With, uh, and by the way, they they say it's. She's a manly, dude, uh, a manly chick. I think it's obviously uh, a dude, but uh, that uh, the dude with the gray hair stabbing our boy Sosuke, the dog, and uh, Chino comes in there, sword fights with him because it's still a dude. It's a dude, and and uh, loses and. Uh, and he's like, uh, stop this far, it's turning to a true form, and then he turned into a dog. He's like, wait, no, this is bullshit, you're not a dog. And then the chick that's the, the master of his troop comes in, and she's like, she's like, I don't think this is the guy you're looking for. So, so this leads me to conclude that the true villain of the series is somebody who looks just like Sosuke. Um, and I think we'll le learn more about that later on. But, could even be Sos Sosuke's alter ego, maybe that was his human side, maybe the dog resembles the human. Who knows, who knows, we'll figure it out. But, uh, once that misunderstanding has been cleared up, uh, she's like, I owe you something. And so, you know, uh, she knows, like, Find the bead that I'm missing. This is duty on it. And he's like, she's like, he, he's like, you know, no human can go up there, but you can accomplish this. And she's like, yeah. And all right, so this leads us to believe she's something else. I mean, later on in the episode, he says, he, you know, she calls, he asks, um, the dude is, he's, he asks him like, uh, what, you know, what she is. And he, he's like, yeah, she's like a mother and a sister to me. What more than to know? saved my life and he's like an evil spirit saved your life so there you go we start to get more of the backstory i mean this is the this is the wrap this is the last episode on this uh mountain thing on um, what's going on with the mountain spirit uh and more about the the mountain itself and the people in the town and and basically what we find out is that the mountain spirit uh only place with children and protecting the mountain because centuries ago they over milled it because it was full of gold and that produced it, it defiled land you know with pollution so he, he's been purifying it this whole time and uh, he talked to the doctor when she was a kid the doctor named the little monkey she was playing with and named him and he's angry now because the doctor was supposed to come back and talk to him after she named him, and Ooh, that never happened because the grandmother died and she moved away. I mean, he knew the grandmother died and she moved away, um, but he, she was supposed to come back. But when she became an adult, she couldn't go through his barrier. Now, the other villagers in the town found out about the gold from the idiot doctor, and. Basically, uh, they want to go up in the mountain and get the gold and get the water because they're dying of thirst, so to speak. The, the land is, and gold is gold. So they uh, kidnap Chino and the others to go pissing off the doctor. And uh, Muramasa uh, uh, <laughs> comes in and says, is the, the hawk. To deliver the the pro to deliver the message, and she kind of chokes him, and she goes after him. And the barrier wasn't letting them through, and the villagers are like, "What do you mean?" You know, the few villagers that went, like, "Yeah, I guess we're stuck here." But the bird is so. This is how powerful the bird is. The bird accidentally broke the barrier. He flew right into it, breaking the barrier. So, 
Uh, yeah, this enraged the, the spirit. Now the spirit has the monkey spirit has two sides: the loving side and the vengeful side. Right? The vengeful side kills the villagers almost like just kills them all, or not all of the villagers, but the few men that went with them. Right? The few villagers that went with them uh, died, and then it starts going on a rampage. It causes a flood. You know, all because what happened prior to this was the monkey that the doctor played with as a kid um, died, or, or is in the process of dying. And the monkey was given a task that when she couldn't visit no more, the monkey would keep the monkey spirit company so he wouldn't be lonely, and she left him the gold ring. Uh, but now that the barrier is down, the doctor is able to go in. She sees the, the monkey dying, you know, she, she uh, mourns for him and then goes after him. And this is the crux of why he's so upset, because he's depressed. He's alone again. And then she goes up to him, she yells at him. She's like, what, did you forget your own name? You know, because she, she knows holding back the, the flood with Muramasa, and uh, they talk it out. And she's like, he's like, he, she, she's like, yeah, if you want to destroy the mountain, you should. It's your mountain to destroy you know, um, I'm just really glad I got to see you again. And so there was a touching moment there, and the spirit was calmed down and went out, well, out of rage mode. And she's like, listen, you know, the next child you may meet is probably going to be my descendant. And he's like, okay. Because he had been a friend of the family, basically. Every time there's a kid, the kids are allowed to play in the mountain, you know. And... Shino still pick, uh, try to, uh, now, I, I almost forgot, um, the other chick did find the bead, it tur the bead, it turned out that the person that held on to the duty bead for a little, to give it, uh, was the monkey, because I think the monkey who was doing this out of duty needed that power, uh, to sustain it just a little bit longer, because it only had a few days to live, so the monkey was holding on to the bead. Because I, I believe it needed it. So I, she was able to get the bee back. And, you know, they bounce from the city. And, you know, that's pretty much the episode. Uh, you know, he's wondering if if, some, if that'll ever happen to him. Because he doesn't age, you know. And where he's just waiting on somebody's broken promise or something, something like that. And trying to picture who this the lady that the, he's been searching for really is and all this. But uh, they also we also had one more important discovery, at least... Uh, before I finish this episode review, which is they all have that mark on them, and uh, Gimpachi has it on his, or uh, not Gimpachi, Kabungo has it on his ass. Alright, so, I mean, we, and there was a funny joke there. I mean, we all got it that all of them, anybody who has a bee, has the mark on them. So, you know, we're well aware of the mark, it's on the arm, it's, you know, on, it's on what's his face, his shoulder. So, you know, this confirms what we are in. Alright, so all in all, I'm going to give this episode a uh, three and a half. Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, a very good episode. It wrapped up another quick little story arc. We got the, the banter in this show is pretty good. It's pretty funny. Um, we got to see the monkey spirit rage for a second. We got to see a, a, another taste of uh, Moramasa's power. And even though Shino lost the sword fighting competition, we still got to see that how powerful the blade can be. Uh, we got interesting new characters introduced, and uh, you know, next week we'll, it, it, I believe it's called Encounter, and we'll start to develop uh, into another quick story and possibly the main story arc of the series. Uh, so that's all interesting stuff and some sort of chick apparition thing. I don't know, but um. Uh, yeah, so I, you know, again, very enjoyable episode, uh, you know, funny at times, the action in it, there was, was pretty good, um, it wasn't combat action, but it was still, we got to see the power of how strong these, these beings can be, so that's pretty cool. Alright, and that's enough out of me, folks, so, click it up if you like it, uh, comment if you must, and please, please, please subscribe if you can, and, uh, this is Alert Wolf signing off. Thank <laughs> you.